Hi everybody, this is Steve Ludwig, host of Steve Ludwig's Classic Pop Culture and the Beatles Hour with Steve Ludwig at planetludwig.com. Here's an interview I did with Eddie Brigatti of the Rascals on October 2nd, 2013, show number 9. My guest was pop culture historian Joe Russo and he brought a surprise guest, his friend Eddie Brigatti, with him. To hear the entire show, including music and retro commercials, check out the menu at planetludwig.com. And for now, please enjoy the interview. Uh, I'd like, like to hand the phone over to Mr. Eddie Brigatti. Wow. <laughs> morning. Uh, Eddie, good morning, Mr. Brigatti. Oh, my gosh, what a surprise. What a pleasure to speak with you. Thank you so much for coming on. Yeah. What? What brings you to Joe Russo's house? That's what I want to know. No, Joe Russo's at my house. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, then, we've been is answered. Uh, for, for decades. And um, he, he's the Rascal archivist, and uh, he probably knows more about Rascals than all of us put together mm-hmm. than I, anyone uh, living <laughs> or not living. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie, I really want to tell you, I, I, I can't thank you enough for, for coming on the air tonight. What a surprise for, for myself and for all the listeners. I, I appreciate it. Being I have you here, may I ask you a few questions? Sure. Now, um, uh, first of all, congratulations on the reunion tour. I mean, I, I've, been to, I've been to the show on Broadway, and I saw you guys at the um, PNC Bank Art Center in New Jersey. And you look th- around at the audience, Eddie, and there is... Everyone is smiling. Everyone is crying tears of joy. That's got to make you you guys feel great. Me too. Did you notice I was also? Yes, I noticed you were having a, a great time doing your signature dancing on stage. It's yeah. I'll, I'll tell you. How could I be sure? Well, it's my favorite Rascal song, but it's my wife's all time favorite Rascal song. Oh. And I'm, I, I I need to tell you that when I saw you guys on Broadway, I said. I know he's, Eddie's going to sing. How can I be sure? I, I hope he I hope he hits it. Eddie, you nailed it, and yeah. I got goosebumps listening to. I'm sure with everybody else in the audience. What does it feel like to sing that song after a thousand times? You still get chills yourself singing that song? Yes, yes. It's a. You know what? This has been the greatest gift to us. Um, thanks, Stephen. Stephen Van Zandt is the champion. He put together Mark Brickman. Um, this is the greatest gift to us, and it's the greatest gift we can give back to the people uh, for all the years they supported us. And uh, this is this is the best production ever of uh, the most complete versions of Rascal songs. So this is like a real—it's a gift to us and from us. And um, it's it, you know it, it's. Um, I guess it's higher than ever. It's, it, uh, we just finished Canada. We did uh, ten shows in Toronto in two weeks, and we're just coming out of this. Um, you know, this uh, era um, is the most wonderful uh, presentation. And uh, well, you saw the show, so it, it tells a little bit about what what happened, and there's comedy in it, and there's it's poignant, <laughs> and it's. Uh, retro and it's uh, but it's it's positive and it's for real. It's a genuine concert. It's a biography, and um, it adds something that you know it adds all the elements. This is the most complete production ever of all the Rascal songs, and um, these guys are incredible players. The, you know, my fellow Rascals are wonderful, wonderful players, and. Um, we have this opportunity now to prove, to show that it's uh, it, it will continue. It's probably uh, the foundation, the base for a brand new uh, launching. And uh, well, you saw you saw the reaction of the people. It's everywhere. It's the same reaction. Some people don't get up and dance as much as us. East Coasters do. <laughs> so, but uh, we came to Canada, and, and um, we've been down to Atlanta and uh, Philly, uh, Boston. Um, there, it's the same response, standing ovations. And at the end, it's everybody's, um, 
they're verklempt, whether they're Jewish or not. <laughs> it's, it's really, I am, I, I think this is such a, a wonderful, wonderful opportunity. And it's, a, it's a, a wonderful thing to give back, to be able to give back. You got to remember, it's, it's been a long time. I mean, the, the song's marinated and they mean more now. The bigger picture is that they were all positive. I think the greatest compliment I got, you know, we got from Stephen was that our art never went dark. Mm -hmm. We were crazy, but the art was always positive and it always was, um, you know, uplifting. And you got to remember it was, it was created during Vietnam and the turmoil of the sixties. So it was, it was always our best, our best foot forward. We were young and we were, um, we were positive and we were productive and it's, um, well, it's decades later and here it is. You know, Eddie, on more than a few occasions, I've heard um, how much your music has meant to the, our, our vets returning from Vietnam and while they were over there. And um, that's got to do your heart good, really knowing how, how much you guys meant to, the, to our soldiers and making things a little more bearable over there and in their return home as well. Yeah, dear friends, uh, we had wonderful, wonderful friends, and and uh, but that was the whole point of it. It was about bringing it together. It was about being all inclusive. It was about healing. It still is. It still is, especially to us. You know what I loved about what I still I love about your show uh, now is that it's it's certainly Rascal's music, but it's a pop music history lesson i mean you guys really go through the whole history of the 60s and and the 70s i mean from your your visuals in the back i mean it is a history lesson of music yeah no two songs are alike and there's a, a broad background there's a rhythm and blues we're singers we're, we're you know, there's a little jazz element to it uh, we're ballad singers the other guys are second to none as musicians Mm -hmm. and powerful uh, till today I'm mean, even even more so even more so if you could picture that um, and it, and it's a you know it's a, a great great cross section uh, kids um, used to bring their parents and grandparents brought their children and and it's that same effect I mean, I mean it's across the board it has the same uh, you know it has the same reaction people mm -hmm. walk out and they go thank you yeah. And I, I feel the same way when that kabuki drops, you mm -hmm. know, that curtain comes down when we're introduced. I'm going, what am I crazy? What am I doing here? Mm -hmm. Then I ask all the ancestors and all the spirits to please come through me and let us bring this performance. And that kabuki comes down and that it's, it's like a tsunami of love and feeling and emotion. And once that stage opens up, it just like lifts and lifts and lifts and lifts and lifts and, lifts and it never comes down again. It's it's nonstop goosebumps, and I'm, I'm uh, I mean that. Um, you know, Eddie, in the uh, in the seventies, you and your brother David did the solo album "Lost in the Wilderness." Uh -huh. Tell me, tell me, please, there'll be another solo album from you. Sometime. We were lost in the wilderness, and now we come back out in the wilderness. Yeah, I, I'm a writer. I think uh, we all, you know, we all um, have that history. Um, I lost my writing partner Edwin Kobolars, uh two years ago, in in March, and um, a prolific writer, wonderful musician, and that that uh, collaboration that that I've had with Felix, uh, you know, in, in those wonderful, wonderful songs. I think there's, there's a there's a dearth of uh, information. There are dozens and dozens of these songs. These are stories, and that's what life is about, telling these stories. And I believe uh, if we get an opportunity now, uh, once we get our footing, um, Stephen will guide it towards probably um, new works. Uh, I, I hope, you know, we'll get some surprises in there. And... Um, we have a we have a lot of uh, we have a lot of stories to tell, and mm -hmm. and in our in our play our our, our concert or whatever, uh, there's like thirty stories 
with about 30 stories wrapping around it. <laughs> that's, that's and, the, you know, that's, that's what life is about. I mean, I, I like to say that everybody has their top 10 songs. Mm-hmm. Some people only sing the blues. Uh, some people only sing the party songs. But as people, we, we sing our songs that, that um, we want other people to relate to. And I'm very proud of our, our body of work, the Rascals, put together. Um, you could see it. You could feel it, the innocence. You, you could feel the intention, the, the best of intentions. We were young. Uh, we were hopeful. And um, it's still there. And probably even more so. It means more now. It I, had a chance yeah. to marinate. You, you, uh, you, and the, your the, your fellow rascals could have come out and sung five songs, and the audience would have loved it. But I'll tell you, with this show, you have some real nice rascals nuggets thrown in there too for the for the real hardcore fans. It's 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 just a total mm-hmm. enjoyable evening. And um, Stephen, Stephen, he he interviewed us. He wrote the script. He positioned the songs. And um, he's brilliant, brilliant, wonderful, super integrity. Uh, he has no reverse. He has no uh, breaks in his jet. He's a forward, <laughs> forward leaning, and he picked out songs that we never really uh, performed mm-hmm. uh, over the years. And he just knew he's a super fan. I mean, for years he tried to pull it together, and there's nobody after him. I think mm-hmm. Stephen. Uh, put it together, divine intervention. Uh, there wasn't a second person that would do it or could do it. My daughter compliments him and says uh, he wrestles alligators. <laughs> New Jersey I, alligators, they don't hibernate. Hey, I'm, I'm They're Jersey. Out in the winter too. I'm, I'm Jersey born and bred myself, Eddie. Um, you know, okay. I, I, was just, I was just going to mention, uh, it, it seems that uh, little Steven is a fan first, and that's, I think, why it works so well, too. Would you agree with that? His first concert was with us when he was a, a, a early teenager, and he has a story about Bruce being there at the same concert. They didn't know each other. Oh, wow. And they about were like karma. 13 or 14 years old. And that's another plus, that, that he sees the perspective from New Jersey. He sees it from our point of view. People say, well, you're a New York group. Uh, yeah, but I think uh, the power of it is... Um, you know, the power of it is so, uh, this melting pot, New Jersey, New York, tri-state area. Mm-hmm. When, when we're going back to the book, uh, the book, I, I opened the book and I'm, I'm overwhelmed. I'm saying, did I do all these things? There's no editorializing in there. You know, there's not much to, to say. Uh, but it's just like one after the other. It's just experiences that I'm going, did this happen? And I'm, I'm the same way on stage. But th- this book that uh, Joe, Joe put together is like an incredible storyline, uh, you know, pictorial um, history. And um, he, I think you mentioned that he, you know a lot of these things weren't seen before. Mm-hmm. A lot of these things weren't seen before by me. Oh, that must have been. Uh, I can I can just imagine some of the uh, stories that bring they brought back to mind. These pictures never digested the book yet. I mean, mm-hmm. you, you look at it, you keep opening it, and you go, "Wow!" And then it opens up. Oh, look who's there, and look. Oh, I remember this, and I remember these people, and you know, it just jogs your memory, and um, all these things surface again. And it's a wonderful, wonderful opportunity. I want to thank you all. I want to thank everybody involved for giving us this opportunity to come forward. And, um, you know, again, I'll use the word divine intervention. I'll use the term. Uh, that's what's happening to us. And um, with the, the spirits willing, uh, we will continue and it'll grow. And uh, the next generation, um, I'm, you know, I'm very happy to say that we, we can show it again. And that was Stephen's intent. Mm-hmm. So all this information and data and all these pictures and all the revisitation um, is fuel, you know, for the mm-hmm. this, the next voyage. And we're again, talking thank about, you so much. Yeah, yeah we're talking about uh, the Rascals, the Rascals, the visual biography by Joe Russo. Have I got time for one more quick question, Eddie? Mm-hmm. 
Uh, first of all, listeners, we are talking with a su- very surprised guest. What a, what a surprise. Eddie Brigatti from the Rascals, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame member. Have you ever met any of the Beatles, Eddie? Uh, all of them. Oh, and ooh, I, mean, I didn't get to hang with them, but um, different times. The, the Felix worked with Ringo, and um, you know, right. we, you know we, Paul, Paul used to come around quite a bit, and they used to come and see the Rascals in the early days. And John, I met briefly. John was over, he was a kind of a New Yorker, and um, Ringo, um, you know, it was brief. I didn't. George's house. We, yeah, I went to George's house. We had we had. Um, you know all these things we, we were visiting England, mm-hmm. and uh, you know you get to like ships passing. You know you you get to see everybody. You meet everybody. You meet the the um, you know Hendrix was in my brother's group, Joey D and the Starlighters, and uh, we saw him at the scene in New York and Sly and the Family Stone and, and Jim Morrison and all these people were we were kids together. Mm-hmm. Janis Joplin and all at the Whiskey oh A Go Go. I remember going in the Whiskey A Go Go, and everybody was famous. And and you know we we didn't know we were going to be famous, but we were just that was the that was the um, the generation. And you know we were all out there together between New York and California, and that was before the you know the, the coasts were attached, mm-hmm. going to another world, and. Um, you know, some of them are uh, passed in front. They graduated, and um, you know the history now. Music is is the highest, one of the highest things that you can do. I think mm-hmm. feed people is the first thing, and music is one of the the next highest things that you can do legally. <laughs> Well, actually, that might change uh, in a few states. But, you know, Eddie, I, I'm sure I can't speak for all, all Rascal fans, but if I, I can speak for myself, and I'm sure many feel this way, um, I just uh, – there's nothing more I can say than thank you, and I wish there were. I'm sure when you meet fans and they kind of get this look in their eyes, but what are the words I can't find in it to thank you so much for all the music and the joy and the pleasure you've brought to me and so many other people? What's it like to – to know you mean that much to so many people. It's very humbling. Mm. It's a very humbling, beautiful, satisfactory uh, feeling. Um, I like to say that, uh, you know, we've fulfilled the highest expectations and intentions of our families. And by doing so, we're reflecting the people out there and vice versa. The people see us in themselves. And that unity is what we need, that maternal, loving, sharing, cooperating, fun-loving essence. is uh, uh, like That's the legacy I think we'd all like to leave behind. Mm-hmm. Well, Eddie, I mean, um, I, I cannot thank you enough. I, I, I thank you so much for giving up some of your time to us this evening. Now, you're going out to California in a few days, correct? Huh? Yep. You're going out to California in a couple of days? That's right. We're going to uh, Los Angeles and San Francisco and Phoenix. And we got a great roust. To, you know, I guess you could look it up somewhere um, on the Internet. Everything I ever thought about or did or am going to do is on the Internet. Yeah, it's, it's probably in Joe Russo's <laughs> mind, too. But uh. Oh, yeah. That is, <laughs> gee, that's easy. But it's all, I think it's all out there. I think uh, look up Once Upon a Dream. Mm-hmm. Uh, again, Rascals I can, yeah, yeah, Rascals Archive, and um, and I'm looking forward to you know running into everybody. Is uh, come out and see the show. I think it, it it explains everything, and then adds some surprises. And and uh, if you don't like it, I'll have Joe give you your money back. Well, they're not going to give Joe any money back, Eddie, because it's a marvelous <laughs> show. And and I, I just want to I'm thank you. And I'll have money to give back. Uh, yeah, exactly. Joe, once again, you want, oh, well, I was going to say, if Joe, you want to give the, uh, where we can get the book again? Thank you. Uh, Eddie, thanks so much, Ed. That was great. Oh. I really appreciate that. Um, uh, wickedcoolrecords.com. It's a uh, little Stevens, uh, underground garage website where he sells his t-shirts and CDs and it's available through there it's exclusively there and at the rascal concerts. And like I said, there's two editions and there's a special collector's edition hand signed by all four, four members. 
Okay. You know, that was a terrible goodbye to Eddie. I hope he didn't think I was giving him the bum's rush. I just wanted to, I just wanted to. to, to he's still, to he's still here. He didn't leave. Uh, uh, no, Eddie, I, I just wanted to thank you again from the bottom of my heart. It was, it was such a pleasure speaking with you. It was such a nice surprise. And you're very kind. Thank you. Okay. And uh, look forward to next time you run into me, you remind me we had this conversation. Oh, it'd be my pleasure. I'd love to meet you. That's dope. Okay, thanks so much. Joe, thank you so much. We'll talk again. All righty. Take care.